So I've been thinking about something. If a picture is worth a thousand words, does a thousand word description make a better picture? At this point, everyone's heard about Dolly 2. It's an AI art generator that'll take a human written description of a picture and attempt to create it. If you tried it out, one thing you'll learn pretty quickly is that a more detailed description you write, the more accurate the generated photo becomes. Now let's shift gears for a second and talk about another AI tool called ChatGPT. Now, unlike Dolly 2, ChatGPT is pretty well known for taking small descriptions of what you want written and turning it into a much more detailed and sometimes better written version of essentially what you started. So that got me thinking, what if we combine the two? What if I wrote a short description of a photo I wanted Dolly 2 to create? And instead of just giving it that short description, I take the short description, give it to ChatGPT. Ask ChatGPT to write a much longer and more detailed description of what I want, and then gave that to Dolly 2. Will it make a better photo? Well, I guess there's only one way to find out. First, let's take three relatively short but descriptive uh, descriptions of a photo I want created. Number one, create a photorealistic image of a blonde man with a shocked face looking at a computer screen. The screen has crazy art on it. Well, yeah, the, the first one, sure. I got a shocked guy. His eyes are popping out of his head in almost all these pictures. I don't know about the ones where the guy's like in the screen, but uh, you know, overall, it, it kind of does, does what I was asking for. It's photorealistic. It's got a uh, face and the guy's blonde and doing, I, you know, what else are you supposed to say? It looks like a guy looking at a computer screen on a desk and he's totally shocked. Cool. Number two, create a photo of a dog flying over a barn with horses in the background. Uh pretty close i guess uh there's some there's some dogs they're flying there's also some flying horses there's some barns uh what the heck is that on the bottom photo or i mean the right photo in the corner that looks freaky it also looks like maybe there's airplanes or bombers or something flying around yeah i don't know there's a horse floating in the sky in the second photo but you know this is pretty close and number three Create a photo of a horse jumping a fence. The fence is on fire. It seems to be having some trouble with making the fence on fire and the horse is kind of like through the fence. It's yeah, it's you know, I struggle with this one, but the general idea is there. Sometimes the horse is on fire. Sometimes there's fire like around the fence. Sometimes the horse is indistinguishable like the second one in there, but you know, pretty close. Now, can ChatGPT make a better description and turn it into a better photo generated by Dolly 2? Just to make sure we're doing this fairly, I'm going to modify all three photo descriptions the same way so ChatGPT will do what I want. Write me a 300 character description of a photo. Describe a photo in high detail where the basic information is this. Okay, now let's throw this at ChatGPT and see what we get. All right, now it's time for the big show. If you want to see all the descriptions and images, I'll put a link in the description. The first short description was create a photorealistic image of a blonde man with a shocked face looking at a computer screen. The screen has crazy art on it. On the left is the original set of photos created by Dolly 2. On the bottom is the enhanced description. And these are the results of the max length descriptions. Okay, so based on what Jet Chat GPT did to the description, it definitely added more details about the guy's reaction. It says now that he has disbelief as he gazes at the computer screen. It says his eyes are wide open. It says the photo is highly realistic, which I don't know if that's the same thing as photorealistic or whatever. But it also says the computer screen is rendered with great accuracy, showcasing the intricate and complex artwork displayed on it. So. Yeah, the artwork is more intricate and complex, that's for sure. Um, I still don't know about the guy with the face in the screen. It's missing that part. I wanted the guy looking at the screen. And to be honest with you, the first set had the guy staring directly at the screen with like the stuff like popping out of it. And that one, it's, it seems better than me. But, you know, the details, the details are higher on this one. The second short description was create a photo of a dog flying over a barn with horses in the background. On the left is the original set of photos created by Dolly 2. On the bottom is the enhanced description. And these are the results of the max descriptions. Okay, so I think the very first photo, that one is almost exactly what I was imagining when I typed this all up. It's, it's horses grazing in the background. The dog is flying over the barn. Um, Otherwise, <laughs> some stuff gets weird, right? I mean, yes, the dog is much more photorealistic, though. That's that's one thing we'll say. Let's see what this says in the description. The photo depicts a majestic dog soaring through the air, its ears flapping in the okay, ears flapping in the wind. 
um, seems to be mid-leap. In the background, a red barn, so now it's a red barn that wasn't in there before, uh, can be seen with horses grazing peacefully in the field nearby. So, yes, horses in the field. The second one doesn't have horse in the field. Third one has a blob that might be a horse in the field. And the last one, again, has something flying in the air. I don't know what in the world that is. Um, casting a warm glow over the entire scene. So uh, the overall effect is one of freedom, and then that's where it got cut off. So yeah, I you know what? I The first one is definitely like my favorite out of all eight. The final short description was, create a photo of a horse jumping a fence. The fence is on fire. On the left is the original set of photos created by Dolly 2. On the bottom is the enhanced description, and these are the result of the max description. Okay, now we're talking. Uh, this is very artistic. Um, I actually don't know that it says anything about a photorealistic photo. It just says a photo in the description. So the one on the right, that's a horse jumping over a fence and the fence would appear to be on fire. And some of the other ones, yes, the horse is on fire, but these ones, I don't know if they exactly meet the description of what I was looking for, but they are pretty amazing just for being art, right? So majestic horse jumps over a fence. It's powerful muscles rippling as it soars through the air. Yeah, okay, I, I could see that. Um, the fire casts a warm glow on the horse's glossy coat, highlighting its strength and beauty. The horse's eyes are focused, determined as it clears the fence. The flames of the burning fence add a sense of danger. Yeah, so it's, it's still missing like the flames of the like the burning fence thing. I was really looking for like a horse like busting through flames. Um, maybe that should be in the description that the horse is busting through flames. But either way, these four are by far better photos than the first four. Well, what do you think? I personally think that the photos got a little bit better the second time through, but maybe I'm biased because I've been staring at this thing for hours. Leave a comment and let me know if you think that compounding the AI actually helped and produced a better product. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. Maybe click the video in the corner since Google seems to think you like that one. Until next time, happy coding.